is just a little share. This is from the Telegraph. Bright flash of light marks incredible moment. Life begins when sperm meets egg. So let's check this out. Bam. Look at that. The explosion of light. When life begins. It's incredible. They saw this in mice, but now they have the proof of it in humans. So the question really is, so when does life begin? And I'm going to come here to Job 27.3. As long as I have life within me, the breath of God in my nostrils. Then over here, here we are at Job 33.4. The Spirit of God has made me, and the breath of the Almighty gives me life. All right, now we're going to come over here. And so finally, here we are at abortionfacts.com. And you need to know I am not an abortion activist. I'm personally pro-life. I came to this decision later in life through my own personal experiences, which I will be sharing in time. If you like what I'm doing, I'd love for you to subscribe. And if you don't, then of course we all have a choice. I just want to share this because I feel like we are absolutely losing our humanity. Everything that makes us human is being lost and politicized. And I kind of find it frightening where we're headed. If we lose our humanity, what do we have? What's the point? So I just want to share this with you. And it's from a Senate Judiciary Committee on November 17, 1995, from a nurse who assisted in a partial birth abortion. According to Nurse Schaefer, the baby was alive and moving as the abortionist delivered the baby's body and arms, everything but the head. The doctor kept the baby's head just inside the uterus. The baby's little fingers were clasping and unclasping. His feet were kicking. Then the doctor stuck the scissors through the back of his head and the baby's arms jerked out in a flinch. A startle reaction, like a baby does when he thinks he might fall. The doctor opened up the scissors, stuck a high-powered suction tube into the opening, and sucked the baby's brains out. Now the baby was completely limp. With forceps, the doctor turns the baby around in the womb to be positioned feet first. The baby's legs are pulled out into the birth canal. The baby is alive at this point. The abortionist delivers the baby's entire body except for the head, which remains inside the birth canal. Is that to keep God out of the room? Out of the nostrils, the baby's hands and feet move. The abortionist stabs the scissors into the base of the baby's skull. The scissors are spread to enlarge the opening. The suction catheter is then inserted and the brains are sucked out, causing the skull to collapse. The head slides out easily. This is disgusting. This is inhumane. And they say that, you know, you judge a society based on how they treat those who are the weakest and in the most need. How are we doing, folks? How are we doing? I mean, it took until 2003, and they're still fighting this, to ban this. So again, this isn't about religion or politics. It's about our humanity. It's about our souls.